dear students now we are going to solve important problem in bandwidth okay for circular wave guide so what is mean by bandwidth it is the difference between the cutoff frequency of next higher order dominant mode and the dominant mode that means the difference between the cutoff frequency for next higher order mode from the dominant mode in general for this circular wave guide the first dominant mode that is te11 the next higher order mode is tm01 okay so here we are going to take the difference between these two cutoff frequencies now we are going to solve one important problem in bandwidth an air filled circular wave guide having an inner radius of 1 cm is excited in dominant mode at 10 gigahertz find the cutoff frequency of dominant mode lambda g that is guide wavelength wave impedance and the bandwidth for operating in dominant mode okay so in the solution part first we have to write the given data so what all are the given data inner radius is given that is equal to 1 cm it can be written like this 1 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter they have given the dominant mode dominant mode means te11 mode and the frequency operating frequency is 10 gigahertz that is equal to 10 into 10 to the power 9 hertz okay so first we are going to find out the hnm value this is very important parameter in circular wave guide so we have to find out this value that is equal to ha11 by a this dash represents te waves okay that is equal to for te11 wave ha value is 1.84 you have to remember this value divided by the radius value is what 1 into 10 to the power minus 2 then we can get the answer as 184 okay so this is very important parameter in circular wave guide next we are going to find out the value of cutoff frequency its formula is fc is equal to c into hnm by 2 pi so here this hnm value is what c into h11 divided by 2 pi so we have already calculated the value of h11 that is 184 we are going to substitute the values of h11 and the c value then we can get the answer as 8.785 in 10 to the power 9 hertz so here this 10 to the power 9 can be written as giga hertz cutoff frequency is equal to what 8.785 giga hertz okay so next guided wavelength lambda g so here this lambda g is equal to lambda by square root of 1 minus fc by f the whole square here we are going to find out the lambda value the lambda value is equal to c by f here c is nothing but the velocity of light 3 into 10 to the power 8 divided by the operating frequency is 10 gigahertz okay we can get the answer as 0.03 meter we can substitute this lambda value and fc value that is cutoff frequency value and the operating frequency value here we can get the guided wavelength value as 0.062 meter okay so the next one is wave impedance wave impedance for this dominant mode te11 that is equal to eta by square root of 1 minus fc by f the whole square here we have to substitute the value of this eta that is the characteristic impedance its value is 120 pi okay or we can say its value is 377 ohm so substitute this eta value as 120 pi divided by square root of 1 minus fc by f the whole square fc value is 8.785 divided by 10 the whole square then we can get the answer as 789.10 ohm this is the wave impedance for this te11 wave okay next we are going to find out the bandwidth for the dominant mode of given circular wave guide as we know that the formula is the difference between the cutoff frequency for next higher order mode and the dominant mode we have already calculated the cutoff frequency for this dominant mode te11 so now we are going to find out the value for this tm01 okay so here fc for this tm01 wave is equal to c into hnm by 2 pi 
For this TEM wave, the H A01 value is 2.405. Okay, substitute that value here and the A value that is the radius is 1 centimeter. It can be written as 1 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter. We can get the answer as 240.5. That is the value of this H01 for this TEM wave. We are going to substitute this value in this formula. 3 into 10 to the power 8 into 240.5 divided by 2 pi. Then the cutoff frequency value is 11.483 gigahertz. Now we have the cutoff frequencies for TE11 wave as well as TM01 wave. We have to substitute these values here. Then we can get the bandwidth value as 2.69 gigahertz. This is the answer. Okay.